Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You know, when you come out in a real high, they say it will hug a tree or something. Like yeah, that. that's a natural well, ground. The music, you know, bring you. Yeah, that's right. To bring you back to I consciousness. Get where I'm in between. You're floating. Yeah. You're you're I don't like. Know if anybody else's run through I, this or not? Try to drive a car like that in the traffic. Right. <laughs> I mean. Right. That's true. Do something to bring you down. That's bring one of the down. reasons I smoke. Is because uh, that's one of the reasons because it helps me to maintain my consciousness, you know, to see what I'm doing. Other times I shouldn't smoke at all. Other times it's barely, <laughs> hardly there. <laughs> but if I want to come, when I get done with the reading, the way I get out of it is to smoke a cigarette immediately. Okay, don't be discouraged. Mediumship takes time. Did I ever tell you the story about the telephone cable? Okay. We all know that when we order a phone, we pick up the receiver and say hello and there's a voice there, right? Well, before that voice came, there were cables laid underground, there were wires strung up, there were telephone poles, there were all kinds of things going on, there were wires to the house, the phone had to be built, there were all kinds of preparations before that hello came so remember that in your mediumship there's a lot of things that are going on that your guides are doing that you don't know about constantly your doctors are chemicalizing you you're getting philosophies uh, some things you think are your own ideas are really from spirit most of them especially the wonderful ones are definitely all from spirit with your help they have to have framework to work through they have to, you have to have the consciousness in order for them to do it. But don't be discouraged. The darkest hour always cometh before the dawn. It's hard not to give up sometimes. It's hard to go for years and years and years. But you'll notice if you're striving for one thing, like trumpet, okay, that's a, one of the biggies. If you're striving for that, you'll notice that your mental mediumship will increase as you st keep striving. You notice your clear audience, your clairvoyance, your all of it will get better and better. So you're not exactly stalemated, okay? It's just that you're not getting exactly what you want at that right time, or what you consider the right time. Yes. Is that plexi place better than trumpet, or it's an addition to? Or it's an addition to. It's not better than trumpet, no, because plexi voice only allows like one little joy guide to come through usually, or something like that. It's not independent it's, voice. It's an independent voice. Plexi voice is. But trumpet is actually for the person to help people. Uh, I mean, you can have this whole group. We've sat in a trumpet circle. And they will help you individually. And your relatives and your friends and your doctors will come to you. I think trumpet helps people more. Uh, Plex of voice, I suppose, could. But it's not developed as much as trumpet, probably because it's embarrassing. And I imagine it's harder to control. Because Plex of voice, you can't control when that voice is coming. I would just think it was more convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you like Plexa Voice, tell your guide and tell... And, oh, that's another thing. Train your guides. Tell your guides. I always say, Lotus Blossom... It, I used to say this. Now Lotus Blossom tells me. But I used to tell her, I want to know uh, more. She'd give me a name, okay, when I'd be reading for somebody. And the name would be right, and I'd say... And then I wouldn't get any more. And I'd say, well, what about it? Tell me what about it. You know, I want to know more than just a name. And I had to train her, as everybody has to train their guides, to tell me the information. She's a master at it. She can go through all kinds of stuff. Leave it to me, and I couldn't do it, but Lotus Blossom can. Now, because she's been trained. They will do what you want. They will take on your personality. Now, is this when you're doing a reading right that fast, they're telling you all this? Yes so fast that you can't even get it all out. I forget sometimes. Lo I, that's another thing. That's a good point. I trained Lotus Blossom to give it to me fast and furious. I always told her that. I'd say, when I get up there on that platform, I want it fast, and I want it now. And that's the way I shouldn't have talked that stern, but I did. <laughs> but that's what I told her. Every time before I went up there, I'd say, I want it fast, and I want it accurate, and I want it now. And she knows that. And by God, you know... No, yeah, she tries. You're getting it out of the ethers. We're not. You're not regressing. This man that came in here. What's his name? That Reverend. He Bart. Come to me, and he says, 
I can't believe this. You're just pulling it out of ethers, and I have to, uh, what do you call that, uh, regress people. You're just getting it out of the ethers, right? And I said, well, my guides are telling me I'm being directed. I didn't know how to tell him. I didn't know who he was. Tell him that your, your angel, your joy guide, your angel is talking to his angels, so and you are sensitive to the angels, and you can pick it up. That's what a medium... He was asking me where I was getting it from. That's what he was yeah. trying to find out. Yeah. And I didn't know how to explain it good. I didn't want to... Just tell him that he has a band of angels around him. You have one around right. you. And you you know how to talk to your angel. And your angel but talks to his. I think we his. all have a little different way of getting it. I mean, um... Well... I don't mean it wrong, a different way. I'm saying sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. It's different. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, sure it is. I mean, uh, you're going to notice the difference between each person you read for according to their spiritual progression. Okay, that's what it is. That's yes. where they're at. That's okay. where they're at. Okay. You know that you're a medium. But when they walk in here, if you get somebody that's, like we were talking before, somebody that's a low life, you're going to be pulling teeth, especially the higher you progress. And you the harder it's going to get if they're low. If they're hurt or they're hard sure you do. So you'll pick up yourself. physical. I mean, it comes on you. I yeah. don't know how to explain it to you. Last night when I was giving messages on the platform, who was I reading for? Boy, you yeah. Was I? <laughs> I, I can never tell. <laughs> but I started to get sinus trouble. I had, now this is getting very personal and maybe a little gross, but I had a lot of sinus come right down in my nose and I said, Jane, you have sinus trouble. Yeah. Sure enough. Then my stomach started burning. And I'm up there, you know, oh my God, you know. It was one thing after another. We, okay, the guides are putting this on us. Where are we getting that from? This is what a guy tried to tell me. I mean, asked me. And I said, well, just coming through. Are you pulling this out of the ethers, he said? I said, well, I guess the guides are, you know, my people are helping me. Sure they I are. I don't want to take credit for it is what I was trying to say. It's not me. It's higher self. Higher well, you can tell him he is an intelligent man. You can tell him that you have raised your rate of vibration. You know. No, he likes you. He thinks very much of your mediumship. Well, I know that. Me. Oh, I'm not surprised at that. Pardon? Was it a compliment? That, well, you know, I'm trying to say, Ann, I don't want to take the ego credit. I was, tr but how do you explain this? Everybody sitting here. You so tell him that you are They're sensitive. They're going to have to explain someday if they run into somebody like this questioning. Because you're a sensitive. I told you a while back in the earlier and classes. And afterward, he said. Well, I want to learn, you know, I want to know your method because I want to learn how to do this or something, you know. Well, in two minutes, I'll tell you. I don't know my yeah. method, Ann. There I was a man he knows a lot of that came in here and said, I can teach any housewife to do this. Your interpretation. Maybe I'll that's it. Yeah. He told me, he yeah. was very impressed with you. He said yeah. that uh, you really were right on with the things you told him. And then that other young man that was with him. Yeah, from that's his daughter's boyfriend. Oh, really? I, he's and, something and he's, else. Uh, he was very impressed with your reading, uh, too. And um, he said... But I didn't want to discredit my guides. I didn't want to take the credit myself. And I didn't want to... How do I say? You, so it's where they're at, then. Is it's where I'm they're at. Up on each one. You will find that the higher evolved they are spiritually, so that's why I don't easier. want to say, I'm going to do tour cards today, or I'm going to do this. Like you said, well, what are you going to use? Everybody... Well, whatever they tell us to use, right at that point when they sit down. Well, some people are... Um, like, I know what I'm going to use. You know, I know I'm going to use psychometry. I have that as an agreement between me and Lotus Blossom. Well, I, I find that, that the quickest way to tune in and out. You should use, at a psychic fair, you should use your quickest, most easiest way it is for you. Because it's hard enough as it is. So use the easiest. Whatever comes clearer to you, it should just come automatically. There shouldn't be really a decision. I imagine there would be about tarot cards. But as far as clear audience and clairvoyance, they're just going to do it. Well, you guys sure, are. Well, until they sit down and then you tune in. And then right. I can when I get in their vibration. But to tell somebody, you know, we're going to do this today. Well, then you what you do. Do you with this or not? Any of you? I don't try to figure it what out. What you do so, is list all your gifts for something like that, which we aren't going to do any. Well, we'll be listing them on the card. But what you do is list all your gifts, clairvoyance, clairaudience, tarot. And then you choose and pick and choose whatever you want to use and list somebody, okay. you know. Yeah. yeah. Myself from, from believing something that's coming up, especially if it's something you don't want to see. I like doing that for myself. The first time I did a fair about the cards with me, I never brought them out once because that's when the ways come in. Yeah. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
quickly that, you know, there's none of that. It's a crutch. It's a crutch. Okay. It's okay. exactly what it is. It's a crystal ball crutch. It's a tarot card crutch. Okay. Reverend Tingley goes totally against all that. He really does not like psychic fairs because of that. If it's strictly clairaudience, clairvoyance, and uh, psychic spiritual gifts, then he's all for it. They demand it. They demand it. Okay. We get people coming in here that we have excellent mediums that do clairaudience, clairvoyance. They have all their spiritual gifts unfolded and developing. <laughs> and they go to the tea leaf readers. You know? Because it's different. It's bull is what it is. If they knew anything about it, they'd be going to the ones who had the genuine gifts that didn't yes, need you, where the do you other get things. It from? You don't want to discredit <coughs> guide you don't want to discredit and I'm not sure at times where I'm getting it from it's coming through it's coming from your joy guide me or who you know I it's coming from your joy guide your joy guide is your message bearer okay. when you're giving readings joy that's guide. your joy guide okay. when you're yeah, getting philosophy it. it's your doctor of philosophy okay. when you're getting uh, chemicalized so physically they're all working, they're right? all working oh, yeah, with you, there you go. yeah all of them are but when you're giving messages it is exactly your joy guide now before I do a reading, I call them all in because I don't know what's going to be asked of me. But I know that Lotus Blossom is the one who's bringing those messages. And when I want to get them clearer, I say, hey, Lotus, Lotus Blossom, let's do it. Come on, let's hurry up and do this. I like telling people it's a gift from God and I'm just using it. That's what I said. Or, or just I'm just an instrument, that's what I said. I'm yeah, that's right. Like You're you like a radio like station. Explain, You're a radio. Is it you know what I'm saying? And to see uh, somebody else's joy guide. Sure it is. <laughs> is that right? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell them that you're the radio station. That's a good idea. That spirit's the disc jockey and you just, or you're the disc jockey and spirit's <laughs> just playing the music. You can tell them that. <laughs> I'm the disc jockey. That's a cute way to put it. Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. I always tell them. Ruby and I are the next, I like the next that. I can hear. She's the record, not me the disc jockey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So sit and meditate when it's convenient. Remember relaxation, visualization, and concentration. Sit twice a week when we're beginning with a group and not anymore when you're first starting out with a group. Okay, that's it for the night. I do with my book now. Uh -huh. Does that help you, Shirley? Yeah, because I, I, you know, I mean, I don't want to discredit, but I don't want to mislead either. Right. Yeah, I think but you I answered didn't know it. Who he was either? Right. He was testing me, I think. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. he was. I'm sure he was. You know, you don't remember half what you say afterward. Of course not, because it's I coming from God. It's not coming from you. I mean, of course you don't. I mean, I can't tell you. Yeah. If you did remember, I'd worry if you remembered everything. Because that would it's mean so that it's not coming from you. It's so embarrassing when people come up to you afterwards. Oh, yeah. I did. I heard from my brother. Yeah, yeah right. Who are you? You have a right. brother? <laughs> yeah, right. That's what happens, yeah. So thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh, Good to see you again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel?